Right then, let's get moving. Oh, our horse is there. Right then, let's... Oh, camp fund's 44 now. Um, leave. Such a moment. I'm going to go see Reverend Swanson a minute. Let's get in the big, big stand. That looks all better now, anyways. Let's go. Here comes Turbo Prop, the world's loudest PlayStation. Come on, let's keep going, anyways. your advice sir i took your advice then your god has finally deserted you what you talking about i took your advice sir i have removed myself from morpheus's embrace no more shall i sink sir i am free i am free you don't seem free friend you seem drunk sit down reverend we ain't finished you ain't finished Look at him, he's finished. None of us forced liquor down his throat, friend. I just want him to play. Now, firstly, we ain't friends. Don't make no mistake on that subject. Now, secondly, he can't hardly see, let alone reason. Now, reasoning ain't never been one of my strong points, neither. But seeing, I do just fine. You want to step outside or do a business here? I just want him to finish the game. Why can't we all just get along? Oh. These are good men, Arthur. They're children of God. They are children of God. Oh. Uh, how's about you playing this place, huh? That seems fair. Fair? Sure. You want a game? Come on, then. Sure. I'll play a few hands. Well, sit yourself down, then. I'm Luther. This is Marvin. Hey. Fortunate for you both, we're being gentlemen about this. Same goes for you. Hey, let's have a look what he's got. So, how you two know each other anyway? Don't seem like the likeliest of friends, if you don't mind me saying. We go a long way back. And now you're his chaperone? I guess it's something like that. No, Can we play? To... Raise it. He can't be no real clergyman. <laughs> He committed about five cardinal sins just in that chair you're sitting in. I think he used to be. He's um. drifted a little in recent years. <laughs> Life is a challenge to all of oh, us. Oh, two pay. No, pay on me. Um. Can you imagine him at the pulpit? If he could stand up. On the fourth day, he turned water into whiskey, and I don't remember much after that. <laughs> <laughs> Ice. He's um, a decent child it. going through a bad time. Disrespect him again, and you'll find yourself in a bad time, too. All yeah, right, all right. Like... Just trying to have a little fun here. It is a game oh, after two all. Two of a kind, thank you. There then. There we got two, two pair. All right, let's go. Here. Look at his face, he's bluffing. There. Pile of crap. Don't laugh. Yes, yes, yes! <laughs> For Christ's sakes. Ah. There you go. Come to Thank me. Thank you. Hey. Damn it. 
That's the way it goes. You worry about your own game. If I can, uh, make them lose I all their say, money, I'm fine with that. You have a lot less stories than your friend did. I don't want to leave yet. I want to win their money. He's very quiet. Five and a two, and it's clubs. Um, let's call it. Oh. I'll check. Okay. We've got two and a five. Let's see, we've got. Oh. Check. I'll check the same as well, mate. Six. Nah. I'm gonna free. Check. Uh -uh. If a three comes out now, I've got. Um... Oh no, a two. I've got a. Hey. Uh, no. All right, what do we got? King there point. Oh, I've got go. two pay. No way. <laughs> yes. Only a little bit of money, but that's fine. There you go, pal. Shall we just play a little more? Just not the same without a slurring clergyman, is it? <laughs> <laughs> no, because you're losing. It's to me. Come on, it. <clears throat> we got three and a jack. Um, it's auto bet. Check for me. Oh. I've got three and a jack. Hmm. Oh, if I get another diamond, that's a flush. Okay, let's put a twenty down. You play it safe, huh? Shit. Yeah, let's go. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yes. That's free of wood. Good. Shit, when am I gonna get a good look in here? Man, you annoyed somebody. Wish he'd left some booze for us. I'm parched. Five and a ten. Okay. Okay, then. Paul and Nick. I ain't buying it. Got five and a ten. Oh, pair of fives. Okay. Um. That's 20. all I got. You okay with that? Well, you amaze me. You're bluffing. I can smell it a mile off. Two. T I've got a pair now. Two pair. If I get another five, I've got, I'll get, um, four lives. So let's go all in. I reckon all in. Come on. Okay. Here, look. Phew, okay. No way. <sighs> oh, no. Oh, that's fair enough. Mmm. Nice. Here's one. Dummy. That's all right. <laughs> Gentlemen, this is getting too rich for me. Sit down. Oh, I'm done, friend. It's been a real education. Come on, Rip. Where is he? Where'd he go? Who? The Reverend. Where it? <sighs> Excuse me, gentlemen. Reverend! Reverend Swanson! Where'd you go? Right. Excuse me, I'm sorry. You, you see a drunken idiot, a priest, wandering about? Sure, we saw him, smelt him, and avoided him. 
He went that way, I think. Thanks. Guy looked kind of crazy, mister. Well, you have no idea. Oh, come on, eh? <laughs> Reverend, stop! Have you lost your mind? Hey! Calm down! Hey! What the hell get you your say? hands off him! I didn't say a word! You'll keep! You stay out of it! Get your hands off him now, you son of a bitch! What the hell is your problem? He's with me! Hey, then. Oh, you, oh, you probably lost money. Pair of damn fools! Okay. My turn. Let's finish this. You bastard! Told you. Oh my god, you killed him. I'm gonna keep the law on you. I don't think so, pal. Hey, you! Get back here! <sighs> Not with him, pal. Where's Reverend? Where's he gone? Oh, that's his. Hey! Come on, gotta keep running. Come on! A friend! It's just a simple mistake. You can. Still be safe. Huh? What have you done with your foot? It appears to like this place and wants to stay. Get your foot out of here! Twist your leg, you drunken bastard! Get it! Come on! <laughs> Bloody nutcase. Let's kill him on the horse. Oh no, you don't! What the hell is wrong with you? What the hell is wrong with you? Throwing me off a bridge like there that! There was a goddamn train, you crazy bastard! Have I been bad again, Mr. Morgan? I'm sorry. Uh, I wish I was different. Bloody <laughs> nutcase. Let's get you home. Home? Yeah, that's a wonderful idea. I could have tea with Margaret. Margaret? Who's Margaret? What? <sighs> I'm gonna pick up these drunk head. Wonderful. Yeah, uh, let's go. Love you, Nutter. Margaret! That will call it him. with a drink.
What is it? I've got to go right up close. To... Right, let's go. To drop him off a mountain, really, not in his bed. I was wondering when he'd show up. Better sleep your way to salvation, my friend. Oh, what happened? Just the usual. Poor <laughs> bastard. Exactly. Well, thank you, Mr. Morgan. I'll keep an eye on him. He was lucky this time. Real lucky. Yep. Otherwise, he would have been trained for Right then. Oh, let's go and get some food. Mr. Morgan. What do you want, you? Hey there. Right. Valentine, okay. Right, let's go. I don't see her. Let's go over to Jose and deal with that. My mistake, Mr. Strauss. Okay, let's see. Jack. Jack. I'm getting worried. Where are you? Jack. Right, let's go ledger. See what I've got to drop off. Oh no, not drop off. Let's see what we can get. Next page. Um, I'm, oh, I can't get that yet. What is Dutch listening to? We'll go see, let's go see Hosea. Hello, Arthur. Uncle, you lazy sod. Let's go. After while I'm on the way to um town, should make sure. If there's anything on the floor, any food or anything like that, you know, some animals and that kill them. Let's keep going. Come on and get out. Am I glad you showed up when you did? I don't have no money to give you, but I do have some information that might interest a man like yourself. There's this odd lady who collects things. Has a place uh, north of Strawberry. All kinds of goodies, I hear. <laughs> might be 
something there for you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh. Well, thanks again. <laughs> Safe travels. Yeah, you too. Lay low. Oh. You, you get a hook. Damn it. Arrow. All right, boy. Let's go. Yeah. Oh, the horse bonding is increasing. Good. I wanted to go down first. That's it. On. That old ranch anyway, so. Right. An interesting way of putting it, Seamus. Uh, no doubt. I do interesting very well. It's trusting I don't do so well. Oh, please. Arthur. This is Seamus. He's our new partner. I ain't no such thing. Prospective new partner, if he likes us. Liking ain't the problem. Trusting is, as I said. Keep your voices down. I don't want my boss hearing. This is a sideline. Of course. Look at us. Honest as the day is long. Exactly. I'll tell you what. Let us prove ourselves. <laughs> prove ourselves? To this clown? What you talking about? Good day, Hosea. Good luck with your business dealings. <laughs> Listen. Uh, He's rough and ready and quick with his tongue, but I swear you can trust him and trust me. I'm an old man. You're not old, Seamus. I'm old enough. And you know why I ain't dead? You don't trust idiots. Exactly. We're not idiots. Let us prove it to you. <coughs> Come on, Okay. In. I'll tell you what. Arthur. Old Bob Crawford and his boys just bought a beautiful stolen stagecoach from upstate. It's in their barn. Now, you go get that. And then we can work together. Uh -huh. Who's old Bob Crawford? An acquaintance of mine. So you want us to take out your competition? Well, he, he's not just an acquaintance, but a cousin by marriage. I also want to see if you boys got what it takes. Now, you survived that. Where is he? Well, he's in a farmhouse just northwest of here called Carmody Dell. It's just up the train tracks as you're heading up towards Fort Wallace. There's also some money in that house, but that's your business, not mine. But don't kill nobody. Folks know we ain't intimate no more, and they'll know it was me. But you're fine with us robbing your cousin. By marriage. And yes, I'd love it. You heard the man. Let's go rob his cousin. By marriage. <laughs> but I'm calling it. Really? Really. Lead the way. He said the place is just northwest of here. Me? The other one who's been out gallivanting around here. That's what you call it. Well, clearly you've recovered from your bear encounter. Yep. Could have played that better, couldn't you? 
Thought you wanted me here to show some strong arm. That's usually how it goes. Yes, but this works. Come on, let's keep going. That fella's a joke. And that's why he's perfect. He won't cause us any problems. A safe spot to fence wagons and coaches. That's easy money for us. I guess you're right. Come on, it's not like he's asking us to rob a bank. If the two of us can't steal a stagecoach from Seamus' old crooked cousin by marriage, we should hang up our hats now. Okay. So what's the story with that Emerald Ranch? You find out anything else? A little. Owner's a nasty type by all accounts. Seamus is sure scared of him. That's not saying much. Something strange about the place. Used to be a saloon there, general store. Now it's all closed up, but they seem to have money. Sounds worth a look around. Hey, let's keep it down now. We must be close. Whoa, easy. That must be the place up ahead. We should go on foot from here. Let's see what we're dealing with. Come on. Right. Just in case. There's the house. You see the barn in the back. Stagecoach has to be in there. Me bow for that because the bow does killing a lot quieter. Is she anyone? Nope. Okay. I reckon we could do it now. Sneak in, I'll get the coach. You can try the house. Or wait until morning when I'll head over, distract them by putting on a little show. While you sneak into the house, find what you can, and then get the stagecoach. What do you think? Uh, night. I'm going night. Let's do it now. All right. I reckon we're ready. Let's go. Maybe take a peek through the windows before you go in. Make sure it's all quiet. Hey. Oh, money to good. Want a pearl necklace?
Okay, let's keep looking. Got no money, mister. <clears throat> oh, oh, oh. Well, somehow I don't believe you. <sighs> Where is it? In the chimney. <sighs> Lisa Lochty, mate. Oh, coin purse, thank you. Honey clip protect that as well. Take going to the chimney. Get on, dear boy. Got it. Let's go deliver this horse. It's carriage in that back. Get back to Emerald Ranch and finish things up. You're gonna crash if you don't slow down. So what were you able to lift from the house? Found some money stashed away. Must be a few hundred, not too bad. Not bad at all. Well, this was easier than hunting a thousand pound grizzly anyway. Slow it down a bit. <laughs> no doubt. I won't forget that in a hurry. I'm looking forward to your retelling of that one around the campfire. <laughs> it wasn't the first time Mr. Matthews had stared death in the eye. And as usual, he did not flinch. <laughs> hey, slow it down. Yeah, exactly. So how long do you think we're going to stick around here for? Not sure. Until we can't, I suppose. Okay, here we are. Just pull the coach into the barn there. Okay, let's go. Let's get this block. Let's get this thing. Hello, Seamus. We met your cousins. How was it? Fine. Nice people. Mm. Park that thing in here. Quickly. Uh, nice work, Hosea. It was mostly Arthur. Like I said, coarse, but competent. Here. Thank you. If you find any other coaches that need selling, I'll see what I can offer you for them. But discreet, you know. Of course. Goodbye, gentlemen. I'm heading back to camp, I think. You coming? Sure. 